guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing a video that I've wanted to do for honestly a really long time. And I saw another YouTube do this. I will credit her down below. I'm honestly forgetting her name. I think it's Megan something. And she did a video about eating foods that she ate when she was chunkier as a little kid. Like, how do you say that nicely? When she was thick. When she was like a thick kid. When she was like a chubby little girl. And honestly, been there. If you guys know me or knew me in the past, I grew up overweight basically. And I just thought it was a funny idea. It was pretty much like a cheat day idea. So I'm really going to try to go to the gym after this. I decided that I'm going to eat all the foods that I ate as an overweight little girl and I have pictures that I will show you and they're cute I always loved myself I always thought I was great I didn't see myself as like overweight or anything like that My eating habits were pretty bad when I was a kid. I was telling Seb things that I ate today and things we need to go get from the store and he was like, oh my God. He was like fucking scolding me over here. Honestly, I just thought it was normal. I'm just gonna go back to that time where Olivia didn't care what she ate and <sighs> we're really good all days. We are going to go get breakfast stuff and we're gonna go to fast food that I used to eat when I was little. That was like my favorite. And then we're gonna go get dessert and everything that I used to get. Like we're gonna do the whole shebang. Okay, so we're in line for McDonald's right now and it is lunchtime. This is what I used to get as a kid. I used to go to my best friend's house when I was little and we used to be like, I don't even know, like seven years old and I would eat a double cheeseburger and a large fry and I would order it every single time and so would she. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna get today. That's what I'm gonna eat. I've had it a little bit but I haven't had this exact order at all because I, you guys know I've been on my diet and stuff and I have not been eating Hi, large. um, so so let's do five orders of the double cheeseburgers. Five double cheeseburgers? Yeah, and, okay. th and then uh, two large fries. Okay, so got my large fry. I haven't had a large fry in a really, really, really long time if I've ever gone. I usually get like a small. Seb just explained to me that there's two different things. There's a double cheeseburger and there's a McDouble. And the difference. So McDouble is two patties with one piece of cheese. Double cheeseburger is two patties with two pieces of cheese. Gotta have. Double cheeseburger, you know? Can you feel me? It just tastes like me at the pool in like second grade. It really brings me back. Little tip, if you wanna feel better, take off a bun. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm getting in there, guys. <laughs> it's all fucking chewed up. Food porn. <laughs> We're about to go to Baskin Robbins, so I'm gonna be doing this like a little bit out of order. I'm just basically gonna be like snacking, eating meals, things that I used to eat um, and that I used to love when I had all my little chunky cravings. We are gonna go to Baskin Robbins right now and get Jamocha ice cream. I'm so excited. I'm at least gonna get that. I don't know what Seth's gonna get. And we're gonna get ice cream and then we're gonna go to the store and get, <laughs> actually I'll just show you, but we're basically gonna go to the store to get stuff for breakfast tomorrow and snacks so this is just like a fun little vlog honestly that's what i feel like it's like so we love that but you're gonna come eat with us and we're gonna go get ice cream together so i'm very excited because i don't eat ice cream like ever and i don't eat dairy that's one thing that i'm gonna be eating a little bit in this is dairy i'm high key scared my tummy <laughs> so we just arrived at baskin robbins you can see it right there it's pretty late right now it's almost 10 o'clock okay i got my one scoop my single scoop of jamocha kind of tastes like Emma Chamberlain coffee. What? Does it? We out here. What'd you get, babe? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> Just like how I remember. I have a rubber band holding my camera together right now. That's how it really be sometimes, you know? Gotta get a little exercise. Exercise off this ice cream. Come on, babe. Gotta get fucking some heater on real quick. <laughs> the next day okay good morning guys um it is the next day it is breakfast time and i've been really really excited to do this because i haven't had this breakfast since i was like 
a solid like six years old and I am just so excited. Okay, so for breakfast, my favorite food, especially when I would go to my best friend Abby's house at the time, her mom would always give me Oreo O's with full fat milk, okay? I have to drink dairy for this video. I'm not used to that. I am such an oat milk girl. Like, I love oat milk so much. I do not drink dairy milk anymore. Haven't drinking it in years, but that was obviously what I liked to drink as a kid. And my mom would always have skin milk at my house, but my friend's mom would always have regular milk, so I'd always go over there. I bought these. It's my favorite, like, secret thing to go eat when my parents didn't know. Sorry, I look terrible, too. I literally just woke up. They smell like chocolate donuts. Like, that's what they smell like. Okay, so I have my <laughs> spoon in my bowl. And then, I have not done this in so long. Seth is excited about this. He's gonna drink this. Vitamin D milk, you guys. This is, like, next level. Like, straight from the cow. Like, nothing changed. They did not skim it whatsoever of fat. Like, this is the full fat milk, and I'm uncomfortable right now. So when's the last time you guys have had dairy, or is it, like, a normal thing for you? Oh, bitch. And then you just kind of, like, let it soak up. I swear I have not had this in, like, 18 years. No, Kelly. She bakes for every food I bring out. Honestly, the milk is what makes it. Okay, milk, milk. One and one third cup, that's actually pretty good. It's 17 sugars. I guess it's not the worst thing ever because some healthy cereals would be like three fourths a cup for like 10 sugar. I legitimately feel like the worst person ever. This is so hard. I'm not trying to be extra about these foods, but like obviously these aren't healthy and I really tried to live a much healthier lifestyle now. Like this is seriously hard to go like back to this setting. These were my favorite in elementary school. I loved these. I could eat like five of these in one sitting. <sighs> Let's see what they taste like. Little Debbie oatmeal cream pies. Sorry for what I look like right now. Okay, so it's two little oatmeal cookies mixed with vanilla in the middle, like vanilla cream in the middle, and yeah. Oatmeal cookies were literally my weakness. Loved oatmeal cookies, but don't give me an oatmeal raisin cookie. I mean, I would have still eaten it, but like, my mom rarely bought them. For the most part, I would get these traded at lunch or something in elementary school. Carly's looking at me. She wants them so bad. Mm-mm. Mmm. <laughs> Very sweet. Dare I look at the calories? So one of these cookie sandwiches, which is like two cookies with cream in the middle, is 170 calories and only 13 sugars. By the way, a lot of you guys taught me this and I feel so stupid. I thought genuinely for years that when it says total sugars and then it says includes blank added sugars, that they added that amount of sugar. Still, the total sugars is 13. I thought that it meant... 13 plus 12, so that there was 25 sugars in one cookie. But there's really 13 total. I'm an idiot. But these aren't that bad because I have these protein bars from, I think it's Cliff, and they're like oatmeal bars. They're just like this, honestly. They taste the same, and they're the same amount of sugars, or they're like one sugar less. But it's a protein bar, quote unquote. I'm not doing good right now. I'm not doing good. I feel like shit. And I was going hardcore, and then I did this video. I'm obviously gonna get back doing hardcore, eating really clean, but this ain't clean. Like, look at that face. Is that not the face of an angel? You want a little Debbie? I know you want a little Debbie. Later that same evening. It is lunchtime, I'm hungry, and I am about to have some Delamex taquitos. If you guys know, you know. When I had them, I would eat them with ketchup. <laughs> Ketchup like this is going to be disgusting, but we're gonna see what I really saw in these because I don't know why I thought these with ketchup were so freaking good So okay, these smell just how I remember them, but I'm like so grossed out that I'm about to put this with these right now 
Oh my god. This is my last meal of this video and I'm honestly so happy that this video is over because I just it just makes me feel so bad inside. I'm happy to just get back to eating good because just having this here, I just feel terrible about myself, but that's okay. So this is the last meal. This is Della Mexiquitos with ketchup. I have not had these in a very, very long time, especially with ketchup. Like this was my thing. I used to have taquitos and like ding dongs, like oatmeal cream pies, like I wasn't like terrible, but like clearly I wasn't very good. We gonna try one right now. We're gonna dip it in the ketchup. Oh my God. Why is this good? Wanna try one? Wait, we're coming camera. No, I'm shirtless and ugly. That is pretty good. It's like actually kind of good. This wasn't a part of the video, but this is a throwback too. Seb bought these. And he keeps trying to make me drink them. Throw freaking back. Strawberry Kiwi Pacific Cooler were my faves. God, this is so out. I'm just going to be putting the straw right here. That's the I best. I like everything I bought. I'm like trying to get Seb to eat. After this, you can have this one. And then you can go make as many as you want because I'm not eating them. We were not saying ketchup goes with taquitos. Ever. I don't know where I got this idea. True story. Me and Seb went to this place down the street called John's Place. And it's like a restaurant. It has like Mexican food and American food. I went through the drive through and I saw taquitos. And a lot of times when I go to like authentic Mexican restaurants, I love taquitos. Like that's like my favorite thing to order. The real ones, not like these, you know? And so I ordered taquitos at John's place. And I'm not trying to talk shit. Like, I guess, should I say the name? I don't know, whatever. It's fine, it was delicious. So basically, I ordered taquitos and then I get my taquitos and they're in like this little tiny pouch. And there's three little taquitos that look just like these. They're skinny, they're small, they're like this corn color. I'm like, okay, and I had an idea. I was like, okay, maybe they're like using Delamex taquitos. And they like dressed it up with sour cream and guacamole and everything and like made it look all nice and like restaurant-like. And then I took a bite of one and it was literally this, but like deep fried, like made more crispy in like the oven or the fryer or whatever. I literally paid like $7 for three of these. The whole pack of like 24 of these is like $5. <laughs> I was like, okay. I don't think it was $7. I don't know, maybe it wasn't. But it's almost better with the ketchup. I'm shocked. Yeah, no, it's actually if you need ketchup with it. Yeah, what the hell? That was pretty freaking good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it. So let me know if you want me to do this more. You probably don't. I don't know. I really just did this for fun and to go down memory lane. Follow me on social media. The links are down below. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button so you don't miss a video. I love you guys so, so, so much. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see your lovely, beautiful faces in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Not even in it. We can't talk. <laughs> I'm just kidding.